Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. This is lecture series 9 Network Security dealing with Chains, Chain Cipher Spec and Alert Protocol which comes under SSL. Come let's go into the video. Please do like, share, subscribe and comment. So what is Chain Cipher Spec? This Chain Cipher Spec it actually makes the client or the server to know about the session keys that is generated for the exchange of keys between client and the server. It also intimates about the change of the value in the particular block. This is the block which is one byte. So this chain, spice, uh, ch chain cipher spec, it allows the user or it allows the server to know about the encrypted communication. So actually this protocol is one of the important protocol in SSL. So what it does is, it is actually simple. It consists of a single message. It consists of a single message. So that single message will have only single byte value called 1. Now this, why, why we need this value is, it will cause some, it will make a copy of the current state which updates the cipher suit and based on the comment it keeps on updating. The value at the particular block keeps on updating. So the pending state will be moved to the current state with all the updated value. Now, seeing about the alert protocol, chain cipher sp uh, spec, you have a very different vast thing wherein you are just seeing about the byte value and why it is used. Now, seeing about the alert protocol, this actually is used to convey the alert messages to the client or the server or to the end-to-end -end user. What kind of alert messages might be in, it was in a positive side or in the negative side? All the alert messages that are sent to the peer entities will be completely encrypted and compressed such that it is not seen by any of the hackers or absorbed by any of the hackers. So seeing about the first alert message, unexpected message. Unexpected message is nothing but a message which is not appropriate for a particular session then it is said to be unexpected message. If such kind of session occurs, this alert message will be shown. Moving to bad record MAC. Bad record MAC is nothing but it, the system is telling the client or the server that the message authentication code that is generated is not correct. It is incorrect. Decompression failure. This message, why it is used is, it is received when there is, uh, when there is no proper input. That is, the uh, system cannot be able to decompress the allowable length of byte that is transmitted from one end to the other end. Handshake failure. So this message is, why it is used is the sender when he, he or she is unable to negotiate and accept acceptance from the server side then such handshake failure message occurs actually handshake is nothing but you are communicating with the client and the server telling hello messages and tell that you are the client and the server will tell you that it is the server who is going to communicate. If suppose that message fails, then you can get handshake failure message. Illegal parameter. Illegal parameter is a field which is in the handshake message where it will specify that there is an out of range or inconsistent uh, values in the field. Then it is illegal parameter. Close notify. Close notify is nothing but it is going to notify the receiver or the sender about the messages which is not received or it is going to completely co close the session. That is why it is known as close notify. Or this close notify what it will do is it will do an important work that this alert will uh, close the connection before giving the close notify itself. Next, 
no certificate no certificate is nothing but it might be sent in response to a certificate request if there is no pro proper certificate then no certificate will be provided bad certificate it is nothing but the re the certificate that is received at the server end or the client end when it is corrupted then it is said to be bad certificate next unsupported certificate it is nothing but the type of the certificate that is received is not supporting a particular version of ssl certificate revoked it is nothing but it is a certificate which can be revoked by signing again and again by these uh, authorities certificate authorities certificate expired so certificate expired is when a, a bank is giving you one time password for transaction transaction password so it is valid only for around 10 seconds or 15 seconds so within that when when you don't enter that one time password it expires again you have to request for the otp same way when the certificate uh, uh, is not valid for the particular time then it is said to be the certificate expired Finally, certificate unknown. It is nothing but it is a certificate which is issued by a unauthorized person who is not eligible for signing authority of the certificate. So such kind of certificate when it is received, then you will tell that it is certificate unknown alert message received. Hope you have understood about the cipher spec protocol and the alert messages, alert protocols used in SSL. Please be stay tuned for more information. Thank you.